welcome back to Crystal's Corner. Today we have Ty Jackson, and I just love what she does, you guys. Like, she is on Instagram being just so inspirational, and she is a woman of God, y'all. So, it's just a perfect combo. She is a speaker, she is an entrepreneur, she is selling these t shirts. So, if you'd like one, look in the description bar below. I will have the link and everything that you need to know. Go ahead and cop one. And now she's a life coach. So, she can help you out okay she can <laughs> coach your life as she follows christ so it's just a perfect combo Amen. so um today we're going to be talking about how to push past adversity and to remain your authentic self um in the eyes of going through a struggle or coming out of a situation and not knowing how to react to people basically just sticking true to who god has called you to be and the person who christ has called you to become we're going to be dabbling into a little bit of that telling our stories and just kind of being really honest and open with you guys so yeah okay so what are a few adversities that you have faced in your life that you feel like you've had to push past and really just depend on god and um remain true to who you are um the very first thing that comes to mind is when i first found out that um i wasn't created to fit in mm -hmm. um basically uh, not being able to hang around yeah. certain people not being able to go certain places mm -hmm. um it's really hard especially yeah. being young yeah. you know everybody's doing everything mm -hmm. so you know naturally I would say that you want to do it too yeah. you know not understanding that God created us to be different God mm -hmm. created us to stand out so yeah. not all the time you can fit in mm -hmm. um, the second thing would be um, I, I'm actually divorced mm -hmm. so um, going through that like I had to understand that you know God would not yeah. um, waste that experience yeah like my my endurance my tears my mm -hmm. prayers none of that was in vain and i had to understand that and totally lean and depend on god yeah. to bring me through that season and actually show me why i was created actually show me you know why i had to go through that so basically my pain pushed me to my purpose i didn't really start going hard for god until i got Yes, it your did. pain pushed you to your purpose. Take yes. notes. That's a good, that's a word. That's yeah, a word. yeah. And so many times we look at it as, you know, a discouraging situation mm -hmm. or um, like God isn't in the midst of yeah. what you're going through. And yeah. ultimately God has you going through it for a reason, whether it's for yourself, which most of the time it's not for you, mm -hmm. um, or for somebody else. That's so true. basically I just had to allow God to just do what he would and trust that his will and his timing was yeah. perfect. That's, that's good because I mean I feel like, especially for divorce, like a lot of people are um, more so struggling with that. I know like after divorce it's kind of like psychologically they say that it's like someone died and you have to go through that grieving process. So it means a lot for you to be stronger than you were mm -hmm. coming out of it mm -hmm. because of Christ and because God allowed that pain you know purposely to to mold you into the woman that you're meant to become so it's not always a situation that is the roadblock it might just be what you need to go through to become who you're going to be yeah it may seem horrible yeah it may seem like the world is ending or whatever but honestly god has a purpose for every single obstacle we face and it all matters like if you use it to the best of your ability like you could have easily been like well my life is over you know forget inspiring people for I was in school full time yeah like, I could have just been like oh god yeah you played me real close <laughs> you played me yeah so. but you know that was real cute Jesus <laughs> but you know I had to learn how to change my perspective and I think a lot of times we stay in certain situations and not get the full benefit of it because our, our mindset and our perception is that it, it's it's some type of punishment when it's not it's a push sometimes mm -hmm. so that's what it was in my situation that's good that's good i think that sometimes we see our struggles as more so uh, an attack on us and i mean it could be a, a spiritual attack but we see them more as like a oh my gosh god hates me or god doesn't love me enough but honestly the bible even tells us that god disciplines those he loves and cares for so if you're going through anything that feels like discipline anything that feels uncomfortable man god loves you because the purpose of our life is truly sanctification we're trying to grow into a more christ-like being and what more to make us grow than pain suffering hurt to refine us you know we're not going to grow when we're comfortable sure not, 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 not at all not at all not at all not at all we're not going to grow what purpose do we have to grow if we're comfortable right. so i think that and um, how do we like 
honestly and truly and fully depend on God if we never just truly and fully just need him to get exactly. us something. Exactly. So. so thank God for the pain. Thank God for needing him. Thank God for revealing your need for him. Because, I mean, I think even at church I once heard, you know, um, our, our pain reveals our need for God. And it's like when we have to go through those seasons of hurt, we're like, man, I really need Christ. And I think it's all purposeful. I never, I never, you know, um, push for others to discredit their hurt, discredit their struggles. Because, I mean, truly, that's what makes us who we are, you right. know? Like, if all that didn't happen to you, who knows who you'd be now? You know, you're not this woman. Exactly. Now, that gave me strength. Exactly. That gave me wisdom. That gave me passion. Yeah. I mean, my hunger for God grew because I needed to fully lean and depend on him. So I feel like if I didn't go through that, I wouldn't be the tie I am today. I don't know who I would be. You know, I don't even know if I would be operating in purpose. Like that literally pushed me. Um to God and push me onto my faith, push me into my word. And that's how I learned to just truly depend on him because yeah. of, you know, the multiple situations that I went through, the mm-hmm. heartbreak, you know, all these things that he allowed me allowed me to encounter. Yeah. Um, it basically just grew me, grew me spiritually and yeah. naturally. So That's so good. So what are you doing now? Like, how are you serving Christ right now in your life? Um, well, encouraging, mm-hmm. inspiring, um, pouring into women, helping them recognize their worth. Yeah. Because if I had a me back then, mm-hmm. uh, I probably wouldn't have stayed as long. Mm-hmm. Even though, you know, I don't regret it or anything mm-hmm. like that. But um, I just wish I had somebody to teach me how mm-hmm. to recognize my worth. Somebody to teach me how to establish boundaries and yeah. establish things that you just will not put up with. Mm-hmm. You know, and understanding that potential may never be fulfilled. Yeah. Um and that you can't change a man. You know, I I wish that I had that person. So that's what I do for youth and young adults and especially women, helping them understand and realize their worth because so many times we don't realize, uh, you know, who we are, Mm -hmm. really who we are. And even though we know the word and we can quote quote, um, scriptures, that doesn't mean that you really understand that you're fearfully and wonderfully Mm -hmm. made. You don't fully understand that you're a royal priesthood. Mm -hmm. You don't fully understand who you really are. So that's basically what I do. I help bring women from excuses to execution. Girl, what you want to (laughs) do? We need more women out there who are willing to speak life into other people because if we, we don't speak it, the world will tell you who you are. The world will define you. And the world is consistently changing. The cultures are consistently changing. So it's almost like you have to stay fast into something permanent, which is the word of God. Which never is, changes. It never changes. So it's like <laughs> who you are today in the eyes of God is who you are tomorrow, who you are next week versus the world. What's in last year isn't even looked at today. So it's like... There's so much more to life than trying to keep up. There's so much more to life than trying to find your worth in a man or a, a job or or whatever it could be, an occupation or just whatever. You know, your clothing, materials. So there's so much more to life. And I think that it's so important to have people who are willing to, um, you know, kind of counsel women and encourage women from, um, what would you say, the execution to the... Yeah, excuses to execution. Exactly, because we have a hundred and a million and uh-huh. a thousand excuses. Oh, I can't do this. Uh-huh. I'm single. I'm waiting on a husband. <laughs> I got three kids. I'm in school full time. I'm working full time. I did all of that. Exactly. I have two degrees. I was. I went through my divorce getting my first degree. I had my first child going through my first degree and yeah. then miss a semester. Yeah. Like it's not impossible yeah. if you stay rooted and grounded in the Word of God because mm-hmm. He'll give you the strength to do it. He'll give you the wisdom to yeah. do it. We have to. Stop trying to find our self worth in things that the the world is offering yeah. us, you know, and understand that what they're offering us is not necessarily what we're worth. Yes, girl, can I? Can y'all snap? <laughs> so, what would you tell women out there that are struggling with their purpose, struggling with, um, you know, just finding their self worth? Like, what would you tell them right now? Like, um, the first thing that God just laid on my heart, like literally just now, is it's okay not to. Uh, be okay. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So many times we pray for these different things, but truly in our, our, our innermost being and in our heart, we're truly unprepared. So what I would say is sort through who you are. You know, so many times we're, we're looking towards things and even men to complete us when you need to fix yourself, sis. Mm-hmm. Like, get past that hurt. You know, get past that bitterness. For, learn to forgive. Mm-hmm. You know, it, it may hurt a whole lot, but learn mm-hmm. to forgive. So 
to the women that's trying to pursue their purpose or even find their purpose i'll tell you one thing purpose cannot be found it's already within you you just have to access it and activate it mm -hmm. it's already within you um i would say the first thing you need to do is to see what you're most passionate about I'm passionate about women. I'm passionate about youth and young adults because that's where the impact starts. Mm -hmm. um, so I would say access what's in you. Pray and ask God to reveal to you why were you created. We're all created to do something. Yeah. So I, there's a need for something. You were put here on this earth to fill a void. Mm -hmm. So what void are you here to fill in the earthly realm? Yeah. So if you're passionate about um, paying pictures, minister to those pictures. Mm -hmm. If you're passionate about taking out the trash, <laughs> do that. Yeah, do that. Yeah, whatever you're passionate about, do that. That's what you're called to do. I think so many times we make it so technical and so yeah. hard and it's just not even all that. You know, yeah. it's not it's not technical. It's not a hard thing to do. Yeah. Purpose isn't lost. It's not lost, it's within you. Yeah, that's good. And um, what about remaining your authentic self? Like how do they stay focused on Christ and who they're called to be? And of course we're all called to, you know, share the gospel mm -hmm. and to be Christians, but um, to actually fully function in whatever our gifts are, mm -hmm. how, how would you um, encourage a woman that's kind of being swayed by society, by friends, by parents maybe, mm -hmm. about you know who they're meant to be? How would you um, encourage them to remain true to, to their authentic self and who God has called them to be? Um, I would say the first thing you need to do is find your authentic self. Mm -hmm. um, so many times we put on a mask to be everything that everybody else wants us mm -hmm. to be. Um, so to be able to operate and be confident and bold and you know who God has called you to be you have to figure it out mm -hmm. you have to figure out who he called you to be so once you do that then you stay in your word you know and understand that God created you to do that thing and you can't allow people to come in and yeah. change it up uh, stop asking for permission to do what God has called you to do so many times, you know, we, we get in this, this groove of asking, you know, well, what you think about this or what you think about that? If God told you to do it, that's just what it is. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter how foolish it looks to everybody else. If God told you to do it, then that's just what he told you to do. Understand that social media will kill you if you let it, okay? No, seriously. Yeah, like, if you need to unplug, if you need to fast, if you need to get off completely i mean do what you have to do for you because not only does it affect you emotionally it affects you spiritually yeah. it affects you mentally sometimes i just have to get off and i'm the encourager i'm the one you know that's pouring into women get off of social media because what we do is fall into this comparison trap to where oh she engaged i, I god where my man at or she can marry where my man at or she got she drive this or drive that then you know where's mine when you have exactly what god wants you to have yeah. the portion the amount you have exactly what he wants you to have the friends he wants you to have you have them already mm -hmm. you know i saw a post on social media um that said use what i gave you mm -hmm. um you lack nothing and that's so true wow. like you yeah. lack nothing god gave you everything that you need to fulfill your purpose in yeah. this season yeah. now you know maybe next season you may need something else yeah. but in this season you have everything, everything that you need. need stay in your word mm -hmm. and i mean get rid of negativity um, in this walk, you're going to lose friends. Yeah. And it's going to be sometimes where, you know, God causes you to be by yourself yeah. so that he can deal with you one-on-one. -on -one. Mm -hmm. Don't look at um, being by yourself as a curse. Yeah. Um, because it's definitely not. You know, that's where God gets you one-on-one -on -one and pours into you, mm -hmm. strengthens you, fills you up. Um, yeah, so don't look at it as a curse. Everybody um, is not going to be married in this season. Yeah. You know, everybody is not going to be engaged in this season. Everybody's not going to purchase a new house or have a new baby in this season. You know, appreciate where you are because then it's, it's, it's going to be beneficial to where God is taking you. Yeah. Nothing is wasted. Yeah. And I feel like if you stay unhappy in where you are and you're never content with what God has given you, then who's to say that you'll be content when he, when he gives you what you want? You know, because you always still want more. more. It's greedy. That is greedy. greedy. It is like, that's, yeah. like, that's just our evil, stupid, sinful heart. You know, so it's yeah. like, it's just like, just really just, you know, just finding that contentment in Christ and finding that contentment in man, God provides for me. And I feel mm -hmm. like I need to trust him. Whatever he's given me, this is good enough. Like, let me let me be a good steward of it. I mean, even if God talks about you know being a good steward of what you, what He's given you, that how can He trust you with more if you can't even take care of the little He's given you? Right. So we're asking for more, but who's know we can even handle more? But so, more according to who though? Exactly. Like more according to what other people have. The definition. Of yeah. More. Like what? So, what well, more? What more? What? Because somebody exactly. don't have a house. Somebody exactly. don't have clothes. More according to who? Exactly. Is like what I'm saying. Like. 
Yeah, that's, that's real. So I think it's so important to just, you know, one, stay true to yourself, two, you know, being able to push past adversity, being able to push past, past obstacles and remembering that, man, that isn't your found destination, that God has so much more for you in store. Mm -hmm. Look at Ty's life. Like, it's on a pop. <laughs> it's on a pop. I mean, it's and, you know, yeah, it's yeah, still definitely but... difficult, but God has seen it fit to encourage her, keep her, you know, keep her, um, on fire for him and have a heart for him so it's so important to just you know um go before god and truly just get filled up like she said whether it be losing friends not going to certain places anymore or not um kind of indulging in certain things that you would normally want to i think that spending time with god is so important in this walk because that's what truly prunes you we can try to fix ourselves but then the day god is the one who truly um transforms our heart and makes right. us desire him ultimately i mean mm -hmm. that that's a miracle in its own already seriously right. yeah. yeah everybody sees you know the glory everybody yeah. sees the after but you don't know like you don't know what, what? i had to go, go through. through you don't know the the price that i had to pay to get here the tears that i cried to get here the sleepless mm -hmm. nights that i cried to get here so I pre yeah appreciate your portion appreciate where god has you because you know just because it looks good or just because it looks you know yeah. great you don't know what they're going through in order to be in that place yeah. negatively or positively you don't yeah. know what you don't know the cost i don't want nobody else's life i know that they say <laughs> um you know, oh, I want that um, that Martin and Gina love. Um, no, I don't want that. You know, I don't want that. Or you know, I'm waiting on Boaz. You know, great. He has some great qualities, but I'm waiting on my man of God. Amen. You know, who's gonna be able to handle my anointing? Who's yeah. gonna be able to support me and love me properly? Mm -hmm. You know, so many of us are just looking for love, but baby, you want to be loved properly. Yeah. Okay. True. His true. his love should be a reflection of how Christ loves you. Amen. But that's so good. So I, I really hope that what Ty has said has encouraged you. Um, I'm so thankful for all of y'all that do watch. Um, it really just encourages you to make more. So yeah. Um, thank you, Ty. I'm going to leave everything about Ty in my description bar below so you guys can follow her, um, check out what she's doing currently, and just kind of inbox her if you want to. She's really sociable, so right. don't feel afraid to um, privately message Reach her out to me. and ask her questions or whatever it may be. Um, and yeah, so I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, comment, and like this video. Bye. Bye, guys. Thank you for having me. No problem. <laughs>